Investigators decided that a woman who's been missing for more than 50 years from Luzerne County was murdered. Ilanka Ken was last seen 54 years ago at her home near Shikshini. This week, jurors had to make that decision without a crime scene, body, or any criminal charges as part of a coroner's inquest. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strew was in court for the testimony. She joins us live tonight in Wilkes-Barre. Chelsea. That's right, Lisa and Scott, a jury of six people made this determination after less than two hours of deliberating. And as you said, the body of Ilanka Khan has never been found, but her sister tells me that this brings their family relief, validation, and will soon hopefully bring them more answers. Ilanka Khan vanished without a trace on May 26, 1970 from her residence near Shikshini. Her sister, Anita Harless, wants nothing more than to bring her home. Somebody knows where she's been buried. Somebody knows where she was discarded. And if that person or persons could just come forward and share that information so that she can be brought, I want to take her home with me to be respectfully buried and so that I know where she is. A coroner's inquest at the Luzerne County Courthouse led a jury to decide that Can was murdered. After hearing testimony from family, friends and neighbors, as well as state police investigators who have been trying to solve this mystery for decades. The testimony presented timelines, first and second hand accounts of conversations with Can at her home in Huntington Township and letters she sent. The lawyer representing Can's husband, Charles Can II, disagreed with the entire proceeding. I think the coroner did a real disservice uh, to those jurors and to the community for asking these six people to make a decision about a manner of death um, of a woman who went missing 54 years ago. They presented zero evidence to show that any crime was committed. Charles Can was subpoenaed to testify about his wife's disappearance and death, but chose to invoke his Fifth Amendment rights by not answering any questions during this inquest. His lawyer told Newswatch 16 investigators have insinuated he is a suspect in the now homicide after Charles Can's basement and property were searched for evidence in 2022. Charlie's cooperated with this investigation for 50 some years. Every single time a state trooper asked to talk to him, he answered each of their questions, and he did that without notice, people showing up at his property, people coming and asking him to go to the barracks. He did all. He always answered every question for over 50 years. Meanwhile, Ilanka Kan's sister is thankful the jury took the testimony to heart about Kan's character, loyalty, and honesty, validating that her sister did not abandon her child. Harless hopes this new ruling will help investigators find whoever is responsible for Can's disappearance and finally bring her home. In this lifetime, that's important to me. It may not make any difference. It doesn't make any difference in the outcome. She's gone, but it would mean a great deal to me and to other family members and to friends who still love, we all love her to this day. Now, as they said, there was no body involved in any of this testimony or this ruling, but it was a lot of testimony, a lot of accounts, conversations that friends, family, neighbors had with Ilanka Can. And we talked about that on Newswatch 16 at 5. If you want to learn more about that, you can find it on WNEP.com. Again, this jury determined that Ilanka Can died at the hands of another person. At this point, it's unclear where the investigation stands and what will happen from here, but the family tells me that they hope that this coverage, this story, this, this ruling brings people forward who have information about what happened to Ilanka Can. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Wilkes-Barre.